Hi, for this recording, we are given a set G consists of 1, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29 with a binary operation multiplication modular 30. I'm going to show you that this set together with a multiplication modular 30 is a group. And then I'm going to find a non cyclic subgroup of order 4 from this group. To do this, let's recall what is a group first. A group G is a set of elements with a binary operation that satisfies four properties or four axioms. First, disclosure, then assistance of identity, then assistance of inverse, and associativity. So let's handle each case one by one. Now, we have already constructed the Kelly table on the left. So on the left is a Kelly table or multiplication table. Now, how do we know that the first property, closure, is satisfied? Now, you notice that in the Kelly table, we don't have new element. So no new element are needed. To complete the table, therefore, closure is satisfied. Right? Then, the second, does this set with together with the binary operation has an identity element? So, in this case, we notice that the first row and the first column just repeat the border. So, the identity element is actually 1. So we know we can say that the first row and the first column repeat the border, right? Repeat the element in the borders in order. Therefore, the identity element is one. And we usually use E for identity element. So e is a identity element. E is one. Next, the third property is about the inverse. We are going to find out what is the inverse of one. So we know one times one is one. So inverse of one is one. And seven times thirteen is one. You can see 7 times 13 is 1, so inverse of 7 is 13, and then 13 times 7 also 1, so inverse of 13 is also 7. And then we check that 11 times 11 is 1, so 11, the inverse is 11. And we check that 17 times 23 is 1, therefore inverse of 17 is 23. Inverse of 23, you can see it's actually 17. Now, inverse of 19, see, we look at it, it's at 19 times 19 is 1. So, inverse of 19 is 19 itself. Similarly, 29 times 29 is 1. So, inverse of 29 is also 29. So, I have found the inverse of each element. So, every element has an inverse. Therefore, the third property is satisfied. Now, fourth axiom means the operation must be associative. We know that the multiplication is associative, so therefore, this is satisfied. The multiplication is general multiplication. So, all the four axioms are satisfied. Therefore, the group G under multiplication modular 30 is a group. And we're going to find a subgroup of this G here of order 4 and which is non cyclic. Now, by the Lagrange theorem, elements of subgroup of order 4 must have order 1, 2, or 4. Now, if this subgroup is not cyclic, then it only contains element of order 1 and 2. So we can collect element of order 1 and 2. So the element of order 1 and 2 are this element 
so that means 1, 1 times 1 is still 1, and 11 times 11, so 11 is order 2, because 11 times 11 is 1, and 19 times 19 is also 1, so 19 is order 2, 29 times 29 is also 1, therefore 29 is also order 2, so you pick these four elements, 1, 11, 19, 29, there are four elements there, these four elements will form a subgroup or order 4 and it is non-cyclic because each element all has order 2. That is the end of the recording.